Good evening and welcome to the first edition of Midlands Today. In tonight's programme we take a look at orienteering, hear about a new course on local government and discuss the body beautiful. 1964 and the birth of Midlands Today and the weight of expectation had been building for a decade. From a newsroom in Birmingham's Broad Street, the sound of typewriters triggered a local news revolution. And one man was there from the start. I'd been voted ITV Personality of the Year, so I had a light-hearted image and done things on ITV. And when I came to BBC, I thought, I'll change this, I'm going to become the hard man. Tom Coyne is a natural storyteller. He might be 84, but he still enjoys sharing his experiences of being a TV anchorman. One of the things I remember about Menace today is interviewing the King of Tonga. Now, it must have been 30 stone. The floor manager brought in a chair, and as he sat down, we realised the King's backside wouldn't fit the chair. The arm and chairs, he couldn't get in. Well, they ran out and got another chair, and he still stayed like that until the chair came down. He went, whew! In an era that saw Birmingham ban The Move scoring a string of hits, the BBC was getting itchy feet. In 1971, The Move was on to Pebble Mill Studios in glorious colour. And guess who was there? Q Tom. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Midlands Today, which tonight comes to you for the very first time from our new broadcasting centre here at Pebble Mill, Birmingham. First time ever, I'm not speaking to you from our old studios in the centre of Birmingham. The studio above a car sales room. The studio that was so small, every time you stood up you hit your head on the chain. So what was Pebble Mill like as a place to work? The thing I was looking forward to was the new studio going into colour. This is the new Studio B where I work every weekday. Now of course, in colour. They were wrong in some of the opinions they had. They thought you'd have to wear special this and you'd have to wear special makeup and you'd have to this, that and the other. None of which we did. In the 60s, the famous Mini rolled off the production line at Longbridge. They were still making around 300,000 a year by the mid-70s. I've never been one for cars, considering I did the first top gear. Mini to mini skirts, and they were the must-have fashion item, unless it was this particular design and you lived in the black country. I don't think I'll catch on in Wolverhampton. Any, any girl with any decency would never walk in straight with a man. In 1968, 11 people died when a passenger train crashed into an abnormal load on a Staffordshire level crossing. It became known as the Hickson Rail Disaster. It was just flying glass and tables and everything on top of one another. The Battle of Saltley Gate in 1972 saw fierce clashes between police and workers at the West Midlands Gas Board Coking Works. I could hardly find a seat in the studio for shop stewards, you know, we had so many in and sometimes. And you always knew when the shop steward had been there because the brandy bottle went. It was drained. Also in 1972, the Gravelly Hill Interchange opened and Spaghetti Junction has been loved and loathed ever since. We are opening today what can only be described as the motorway hub of Britain. You'd think that Tom Coyne had fulfilled an earlier promise for hard-hitting journalism. Think again. We decided to inject a little bit of fun in the programme, and I can't remember what the story particularly was, but uh, we decided to do Laurel and Hardy. Have you seen that? Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia Tom's on the left, by the way. In the pale moonshine, our hearts entwine, where she carved her name and I carved mine or two. Tom also provided guest voices on the archers, something he wasn't really supposed to do. I thought if I'm playing the young lover in the archers and then I'm interviewing the Prime Minister tonight, it doesn't quite work that way, does it? Through the 60s and 70s, technology to produce news was moving fast. And this footage shows how Midlands today occasionally struggle to keep pace. Watch Tom Coyne's face as a band play him a farewell song on his last programme. A song ruined by audio problems. I don't think I've heard this song properly yet. I thought it was marvellously kind especially as I was leaving to go to the opposition. <laughs> you met some pretty incredible people, didn't you? Well, the first time I met Muhammad Ali, I said to him, Would you, for the opening of the programme, would you hit me on the jaw? 
Ah, he says, you want to be famous, don't you? And the big names were pulling in viewers to Midlands today, while the team of journalists aimed to deliver news that packed a punch. Some journalistic practices are a bit obscene, I think. There was none of that on there. It was honest. Honest.